welcome back to my channel guys so this is the fall edition 2020 so we're gonna start out with some um some wood that i had so i had this wood that i was trying to make something i'm very new to power tools so don't judge me <laughs> but i didn't know what i was doing and i needed different uh saws so I couldn't, I needed a table saw. So I didn't have a table saw, so I couldn't do what I wanted to do. So I was like, you know what? I will use this wood for a uh, fall project that I saw walking in Big Lots. So basically I'm taking this wood. It probably cost me, I want to say $7, maybe less than that. I think that might have been for two big things that I got. But Either way, you can get small, small, like two by fours, but smaller letters and do this with. Um, I can't remember the measurements of this one. I think it's two by seven or something like that. But anyways, so what I'm doing is I'm taking this um, plywood and then I'm putting the letters on it. And when I think back to what I could have done... Guys, I probably did this hard. I basically put these stickers on it so I could spray paint over it and then peel the stickers off and paint it black. Definitely could have just spray painted it all and then just laid the stickers on it, like hot glued the stickers down. You know, hindsight is twenty twenty for sure. Because I wasn't thinking that way. <laughs> So yeah, now I'm just going to peel these stickers off and yeah, way too complicated. Like, I mean, it's probably not a big deal, but like I said, looking back, could have just hot glued those stickers down. Um, but see, the thing is, this is that, yeah, I thought about it after the fact and I had already spray painted and I was not about to go back to the store. So yeah. <laughs> so anyways, um, that's all I did was I spray painted. I made sure that there were some good coats on it. And so now all I'm doing is going back and I'm complicating things by painting in the letters that I had. <laughs> so yeah. This project um, is super simple. So if you have any plywood, any scrap wood, or you can go to Home Depot, get this wood. Like I said, I think it was a two by seven. You can go to Home Depot. You can get them actually to cut the wood down for free and then come back home. I actually got those stickers at Hobby Lobby. Um, for 10 bucks I think it was it was over way overpriced I was gonna freehand it but then I was like you know I kind of want it to look nice so I don't want to screw anything up so yeah all I did was go back and fill the letters in with the black paint it did take all right so, so now that everything <laughs> is dry all I'm doing is trying to place everything I took some wood glue. I could not, at the time, I could not actually find my hot glue gun. Um, hot glue gun would have worked just as well. But I wanted to stack them, so that was the hard part. So if you're going to stack it like this, um, make sure that one, I did cut the wood, the other L um, that's on top to match the length of the A. Because, yeah. Some of the blocks were shorter and stuff, and which is fine. It just makes for, you know, character, whatever. So you want to put the glue on. And I actually ended up leaving this for probably a week. And I'm just tidying up some lines and making sure it looks crisp and stuff. Uh, guys, I went back over this so many times with paint, and uh, I'm I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I apologize. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. So it's been like two weeks. 
um, since I started this. My eyelashes look better as well. Come on, I'll throw it up there. Anyways, um, about to finish this fall block or whatever. Anyway, so now I'm, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these leaves that I got from Dollar Tree. I also got the pack of like individual leaves. And if you haven't seen my, um, my um, other video on how to make a fall wreath, I use these leaves to make my fall wreaths. That's on my doors and that's on this other project that I'm in the middle of too. So you can either leave this on the vine like so and dress it up nicely or you can do individual leaves and have them scattered. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. So let's try to do the the vine. And I got my trusty dusty hot glue gun that has been with me for like five years now. Seven years now actually I got this one I was about to give me like uh, anyways. Probably easier to hot glue the vine, maybe. I don't know. We'll try it. Okay, so it took me quite some time. I had to cut it because I didn't realize how long I wasn't in you. But I don't, I think maybe I was just trying to place it first. So yeah, I'm just placing it and then I'm hot gluing it. So it does take some trial and error. You can lay this however you want to lay. And I know you guys are probably looking under that A and it's like, what are those black spots? yeah that was my bad like i was just touching so many things and yeah i had to go back over it with the chalk spray that by the way i didn't even tell y'all that that was what the white spray paint was it was chalk spray <laughs> i'm so bad at those anyways i'm just hot gluing it now hot gluing those vines down um like so. And you can do it however you want. You can have it wrap it around the whole sun. You can have individual maple leaves. I ended up not using the individual maple leaves. I just really didn't care to do it because I felt like it looked fine without it. All right. So that'll be the finishing touches. So guys, if you haven't already subscribed, it really helps my channel out. I appreciate all the support. Like, comment down if you like this. Just really let me know what you think. Appreciate it.